Um, hello. I, I apologize. I, I didn't mean to startle you. Good. <laughs> now that you have accepted my apology, is it alright if I take a seat? Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> now, I would like to discuss something with you. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's not bad. But I guess it could be interpreted in many different ways. So, you know how I told you I'm really good at finding people. <laughs> it's just like an instinct for me. Now, would you believe me if I told you I could not find you? Well, I had just recently updated my hair collection. You see, I like to collect many different things. And hair is so beautiful and interesting. <laughs> I really wanted to show you. You know, with you being my friend. And see, since I couldn't find you... I thought, well, there must be something wrong with me. <laughs> and then I thought, there must be something wrong with you. Oh, I don't mean that in an offensive way. <laughs> no, I just was worried about you. You know... Anything could happen. <laughs> I should know. So I was just concerned for you. Worried, maybe. Something not so nice happened. <laughs> yes, I did manage to find you. Eventually. Why... Why were you avoiding me? You... You think I'm... Creepy in a bad way. Don't you? I used to have a lot of friends. They were all so fun to be around. No one judged one another and everything was happy. <laughs> but then you get older. People start defining themselves, branching out, and, you know, finding where wherever makes them comfortable. <laughs> All my friends left me. As we all grew older, I wasn't... They weren't... They weren't comfortable around me. <laughs> and then... I just didn't have anyone. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> I don't blame them. It's a part of growing up and changing... I found myself, all my interests and fascinations. <laughs> I just didn't fit into their 
comfort zone. And they were honest with me. It was a beautiful departure. Well, <laughs> for the most part. I did cry a little. But that is to be expected. Uh, but don't worry. I saved my tears. They're in a bottle on a shelf in my home. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Now, this is upsetting because... You're not up front with me. Everyone else told me. They were honest with me. And I respect them for it. But you just... Left. <laughs> mm. Is this all a misunderstanding? Or maybe you're subconsciously trying to... Be away from me. Is this because my home resembles a museum of sorts? Was it too much for you? You know, I may be creepy, freaky, <laughs> different, but I still respect honesty. So, I just couldn't find you. That is difficult to believe. <laughs> and I think maybe this one hurts a little more because I... My... The feelings. My heart. Feel stuff for you. In more than just an interesting way. If you don't feel the same, I completely understand. We can remain friends. Or I can never see you again. Whichever you prefer. Of course, I would respect any decision you made. Well, I try to be understanding. <laughs> I just want to know if I'm too creepy for you. Oh, mm, I see. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I just... Well, last time, by the willow tree, the way you were sitting like a, a shrimp, your spine was so prominent, I couldn't help but to admire it. I'm sorry if that made you uncomfortable. Well, if you can forgive me... I promise to respect your personal boundaries more. I'll try to. And I won't touch your spine unless you give me permission. You'd think by now I would learn my lesson. Uh, sometimes I just can't really help myself. <laughs> But although I'm seen as this creepy thing, <laughs> I'd like to think I'm a decent person. I'm still human, after all. So, what do you say? Do you forgive me? Great. I can take that as an answer. A good answer. <laughs> 
So, since you seem to forgive me, why don't you come to my place, and I'll show you my bottle of tears. <laughs> mm, I think you'll find it absolutely beautiful. What do you say?